as you can see I've got one of the black and white logos open so I'm going to have a go at colouring it up I'm going to use Pantone colours to start with so if you go down from window to swatch libraries colour books Pantone solid coated and then we can start picking some colours and I'm going to use the open arrow tool to just select the CON and then the rest of the word I'm leaving the arrow out for now um, I'm going to use an orange so you can either type in an orange colour here so I know 165 is orange and that's not too bad or I can scroll through and just look and see what I like I also like this um, Pantone 021 so I'm going to pick that and if we go to window and swatches you'll see that that colour that you've just used now appears in the swatches palette so that makes it a lot easier to colour up other bits so we're going to go to this tagline at the bottom here and colour that up the orange as well now that doesn't look too bad but I think the black is a little bit harsh so I might try making that a dark grey so the easiest way to do that is probably we'll select that bit first and then we can either just scroll through again looking for some greys or I know there's some nice greys called cool grey so you can literally type in the word cool or start typing a word cool and the Pantone cool greys come up and I'm going to go for a dark one so a cool grey 11 as you can see that cool grey has now appeared in the swatch palettes as well so I'm going to cover up the arrow in that as well so again on the open arrow hold down your shift so you can select both bits at once and then we want the stroke and pick that cool grey so that's one colour option let's just zoom out a little bit and we can copy that then so do a copy and the paste and you can either use your keyboard commands or you can go edit copy edit paste just move that down a little bit move that over and another colour that Brian said he liked was a lime green so I'm going to use the open arrow again select these and I'm also going to select a bit of text at the bottom and see if we can find a nice lime green and again if you knew the number you're looking for you could type it in there or you can just scroll through and see what you can find that 376 looks quite nice uh, and as you can see I've made a mistake there I should have had this, this fill selected so let's just switch those two round and then get rid of the orange fill by doing that now we could try some more colour options or we could try maybe boxing this in and make it reversed out so let's try that we we'll do copy and a paste again I'm just going to move the strap line out of the way a little bit and I'm going to box this top bit in so I'm going to use a rectangle tool and just send that shape to back so object range Z to back and of course at the moment you can't see the C and the O and the rest of the word as they're all in green as well so we're going to use the open arrow and just select that all all right and you can notice I've still got the box selected so if I just select that again it goes off okay in the swatches you can see a white there just switch that so it's the fill rather than the stroke and let's bring this in as well okay so I've just enlarged that a bit to level it up more with the sides of the box as you can see here I've got another one of the logos I've coloured up I just wanted to show you how easy it is to switch between colour types so at the moment this orange is a Pantone 166 but if I wanted to swap that to be made up of CMYK I can literally just go like that and then you can see that it's now made up of 64 magenta and 100 of yellow 
let's just put that back so if I undo that undo color I could also easily swap that to RGB you can see the breakdown of the RGB there too so once you've um, got your logos together you can always at the very end if the client decides that they want them in CMYK or RGB it's very easy to change them